Mr. Speaker. First of all, I want to say that this is not about a relationship. It's not about a friendship that has deteriorated. I have been hearing people say, if it's about a relationship, if it's about a, 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 a marriage that has broken, why don't they go back and make peace and come together? No, Mr. Speaker. These two individuals, His Excellency the President and the Deputy President, did not come together so that they can live happily ever after and have children, Mr. Speaker. They came together so that they could deliver development to the people of Kenya, Mr. Speaker. So this, what we have been doing here for hours and hours, it pains me when I hear people saying, you know, about adultery and relationships and what, and I'm wondering, no, we have been here because of 11 counts, Mr. Speaker. A very serious impeachment motion because of not two, not three, but 11 counts, Mr. Speaker. In my condition, I have had to sit here and go through all 11 counts to understand which one actually has been substantiated and which one holds water. So no, this is not about a relationship. And we should not expect that because they came together, they should now go and sit somewhere and make peace. Now, and then, you know, stop disturbing us. No, Mr. Speaker, 11 counts of an impeachment motion is something very serious, Mr. Speaker. And I, it's very unfortunate that of the 11 counts, about four counts, Mr. Speaker, were not even substantiated, Mr. Speaker. It's very shocking. When you have a team of legal experts sitting down bringing 11 counts, at the very least, they should have even substantiated nine, Mr. Speaker. But four counts, ground two, when you talk about undermining a cabinet decision, how did we not have the witness come here to speak so that we can be able to understand? Some of us, we don't sit in cabinet, and we need to understand what a cabinet decision is, how it is undermined. Mr. Speaker, the witness did was not produced. We had another witness who did not come here in terms of undermining devolution. Governor Sakaja signed an affidavit, but then did not appear, Mr. Speaker. People must respect the Senate because when we are sitting here to analyze 11 counts, Mr. Speaker, honestly, in all fairness, they should at least be substantiated to some level. However, Mr. Speaker, I have lived through the post-election violence of 2007 and 2008, and it is very strange that 2007 I was also pregnant, Mr. Speaker. And when I remember Mr. Speaker, the things that triggered the post-election violence, Mr. Speaker, in 2008 of January, it was such utterances such as Musiguze Mlima, Mr. Speaker. They started as a joke, and before you knew it, matatus were being stopped and people were being asked, get off the matatu and showcase your IDs, and arms and limbs were being chopped off, Mr. Speaker. So we might think it is a joke, this shareholding narrative, Mr. Speaker. But having lived through that post-election violence, and I remember very well, Mr. Speaker, that I even had to choose the people who are operating, you know, on me in 2008, because I was afraid. You know, as kisses, we love everyone. People always think we are traitors because we welcome everyone. So at that time, the attack on us was from both sides, Mr. Speaker. And so I therefore, I do not take this shareholding narrative as a light thing. I do not take this Musiguze Mlima as a light thing, Mr. Speaker, because I have been affected directly. And on that count, Mr. Speaker, I definitely have seen that it has been substantiated. We have seen the evidence, and we have even seen repeated utterances of causing divisiveness in this country, Mr. Speaker. And I want to say today, Mr. Speaker, this country is not about one person. It is not about William Ruto. It is not about Rigathi Gashagwa. This country is about the 50 million Kenyans who have to live in peace and under the national unity, Mr. Speaker. And for that reason, Mr. Speaker, I want to say that on that shareholding narrative, I hold my ground and I will definitely vote that he should be impeached. Senator.